Why are the biggest companies in the world running design sprints? Apple, Google, Facebook, Uber, as many companies as you can possibly imagine, every company that you can think of, Amazon. Just keep going, they all run design sprints. Well, the number one reason that they run design sprints is because it works. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you all about it. The design sprint is a super practical system for bringing a group of people together and solving big product problems. What you have at the start is maybe something quite vague, you know, th this is the challenge, this is the thing that we wanna do, and what you have at the end is a high fidelity prototype tested by real users. If there's anything that I don't cover in this video, if you have any specific questions, do ask in the comments, we answer every single comment. Many people get mixed up with what the difference between design thinking and design sprints are, and they're actually, th there's a lot of similarities between them, but here's the biggest difference. Design thinking is more of a philosophy and a mindset mindset and also a bunch of different tools that you can use. The design sprint takes the principles from design thinking but also then takes principles from you know lean startup business model canvas and creates a recipe that you can really repeat again and again and again when you want to come up with some new product ideas or new business ideas and test them with real users as quickly as possible. Some of the best times to run a design sprint are when you have a big challenge to solve and multiple different people that would need to be aligned around that challenge before something can be created. In many kind of traditional product creation processes or many traditional innovation processes, what happens is that there's a lot of going around in circles because someone creates something then doesn't get the sign off of this other person and this other person doesn't really know what's going on and things go on for months and months and months and months and then the whole thing starts to fall apart and people start getting bored of the project and people even start to forget what were we doing in the first place. With the design sprint process, you basically bring all of the important stakeholders and people together at the very start, run a two day highly intensive workshop, and then the design team goes off, designs the product, and shows it back to that team all within the same week. It's 10 times faster than any other system that's out there, and it's a really perfect part of your toolkit when you wanna start something new, or when you have something that exists but needs a complete overhaul. These are like the two times that you wanna run a design sprint right start something new you're unsure if there's really a product market fit for it you're unsure if the company should really invest in it or you've got something and maybe you want to change the market for it or completely rip it apart and redo it so the design sprint is really this perfect system for bringing these people together having a systemized structured format for discussion and avoiding all of this kind of open flowery discussion that comes up in design thinking workshops often it's a great workshop that works well for both sort of business people and designers because it's quite cold quite logical it doesn't go down the route of open kind of broad vague conversation everything's extremely specific so basically if you're looking for a step-by-step -step, highly specific highly repeatable system for making new products testing out big new business ideas, or just bringing a group of people together to solve a big problem and have something tangible at the end of it, then to be honest, right now, the Design Sprint is the best system for doing that. So I hope this video gave you a good idea of why you might wanna consider using the Design Sprint. And we've got lots more material if you wanna go a lot deeper. First of all, this channel, this YouTube channel, is full of over 150 videos on how to run your own Design Sprints. Second thing is, we have a one and a half hour free web class on how to run and sell your own design sprints. You can check that down in the description. It should be one of the first links. It's called web class. Jonathan here from AJ and Smart. D also from AJ and Smart. And oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, third, do check out our podcast. Myself and the author of Sprint run a podcast every Monday morning. It's around design sprints, the product industry, innovation, all of those interesting things if you're interested in that. And finally, do check us out on Instagram for our daily vlogs of a look inside the AJ and Smart office. So you can ask us anything and uh, either I'll answer or Penny will answer or Kyle will answer. If you have any other questions about the design sprint, do let us know in the comments. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like and have a great day. So I hope you enjoyed this really quick overview of why the design sprint might be something it, oh. I'm gonna just like try to do the perfect job of explaining why the design sprint is good. I want a video that gets my clients excited about it. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it in one minute. The design sprint, convince me to do a design sprint in one minute. Okay. My hair is very cartoonish today.
Okay. So some of the best times to run a design sprint. That's the one we should. Box. 